Delegates, this country has experienced great economic success in recent years. Many of you here are young enough to never have experienced a depression, rampant unemployment, or fiscal irresponsibility. Our economy is a much better place today than during the economic crisis caused by Fianna Fáil in the 70s and the 80s. Today's economic success is not because of the current government, it's despite them. The growth rate is now 5.7%. This, claims the government, is unparalleled, unbelievable, a testament to their collective brilliance. Well, delegates, it's not unparalleled. I can tell you of one recent time when there was a clear parallel, in fact, when we were doing much better. When Labour was last in government, the growth rate averaged not 5%, but consistently more than 8%. Ireland can do better with Labour. I know you don't believe the propaganda coming from the current government, and in particular from Minister McDowell, but you need the tools to refute it when speaking to your friends and work colleagues, when knocking on doors with your local Labour candidate. I'll give you some of those economic indicators to show just what the true picture actually is. After 30 years of Fianna Fáil's destructive and short-sighted economic approach, for example, borrowing vast sums to pay for pre-election spend, in 1997, it was Labour who balanced the budget. The first balanced budget in three decades was not the work of parties who feel it's their right to preach fiscal responsibility to us. In fact, it was ours. Labour can do better. Another economic tool with which to beat them. In the four years from 1993 to 1997, we reduced unemployment by five percentage points. Five percentage points. In 10 years, Fianna Fáil has only achieved the same. And we were able to do it because we tripled economic growth in those five years. It just goes to show Ireland can do better with Labour. However, unlike the current coalition, we didn't do that at the expense of real people. We kept inflation firmly under control. During all the time that I was Minister for Finance, inflation was 2% or less. It has been consistently 4% and more under the two successive Fianna Fáil finance ministers. Ireland is... I want to tell you, but more particularly the people watching this program, the Labour Party is the party of high growth and low inflation. Ireland can do better with Labour. Let me turn to another area that is of growing concern. Redundancies last year were double what they were when Labour was last in government. In the last fortnight alone, we have seen thousands of jobs lost right across the country and not in so-called old industries. These were high-tech jobs in companies like Pfizer, Motorola, and FCI. When we left office in 1997, we were creating more, more than 1,000 jobs a week. The economy is not as strong as the government would like you to think, but there is hope. There is still time to make things right and to make it so we can continue to live in the manner to which we have been accustomed. But a change is needed, a change at every level of national government. We need to focus on solutions for people, not solutions for elections. We need to focus on the long-term prospects, not what will get us into August and on to the tent of the Galway races. Labour offers a chance for change to all of the citizens of this state. Labour has the answers to the problems that confront hard-working families, and Ireland can do better with Labour. Rory Quinn of Dublin South East reminding the party that Labour had proved itself as a safe pair of hands for the economy the last time it was in government.